And during the whole time, Sonic she is still catching waves and surfing, especially as as Pit Tate in this fan art that was seriously contributed by Sonic Sonic girl fan Panda Halo. Hmm. Anyway, continuing on with the story, Bubbles and Blake uh, get far, get a good distance away from the girls. And they walk past, they walk beyond the stage and uh, the bait shop and the pharmacy that's nearby. And she, Bubbles lets go of him. Uh, 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 Blake, Blake is panting. Uh, 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 uh. Bubbles looks back to make sure the girls weren't looking at it. Then she turns to look at Blake and sees him panting. And then she tends to make him feel better by by rubbing his shoulders. Hmm. Oh, can I hurt you badly? Only a bit, my bub, wibbly. Oh, I'm sorry, Blakey Blue. Hmm. How long can we keep up this charade? Hmm. Come on, you're doing very well. Hey, listen, I had to go dive for the last crystal. After I get it, I'll touch your sail for mine. You wait 15 minutes, and I'll meet you under Pier 969. I'll make it up to you then. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. I'll wait for your call, then meet you under 969. Good. And then, and then Bubbles runs away. Then Bubbles runs to the ocean away from Blake to get the get the crystal. And then nearby, the new rose chew suddenly transforms into Bubbles. <laughs> Some sort of deception is afoot. But to best elaborate on that character, let's introduce the character. To best. We have to go back into the faithful rainbow that originated from episode 1. In addition to the five eggs that hatched into the KI combo, numerous other eggs of various Sonics and Rosies emerged as well. This one was projected into space and landed on the Earth's moon. So now I introduce Silvana Rose Chew. Beep, 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 beep. The hatching date, Earth time, February 1st, 1989. And just seconds after she's hatched, she is entrapped in some psychic in a psychic beam from Count Graduan. It's like new ah new life for me to corrupt, keeping the new little Rosie safe in the in this bubble. Count Graduan enters her enters her mind and communicates with her. Little one among many, I am Count Graduan, illustrious riv- wizard. Revered by all more powerful than most. I have taken heart of you being born all alone on the Earth's moon. I am here to take you under my wing and rear you properly under my careful and wise judgment. Hmm. I am a well pra- I am a well practiced parent of a young lady, much like yourself. Now she is a warrior princess. My beautiful Sylvia. I miss her every day since being ensphered in my wand of a prison cell. I only wanted to bring peace and order, but a Cherokian chief sealed me in. Sylvana? Sylvana? Perfect. And with that, which is with your first word, I dub thee Sylvana Rosechew. But my care for you and your training has a small price. To bear you, I am going to grant you with the power to transform like a ditto. And my price is that you will have to relinquish your ability to give birth, and you'll be upgraded to have both parts. So with that biological upgrade complete, your years of training can, can begin. And then so under Count Graduan's guidance and training, Sylvana practiced her psychic powers because she is a psychic type alone. And then eventually she, trans- she uh, evolved into the Sylvana Rose Chew of today. So from out to birth, she mentally and physically became a strong warrior under the wicked guidance from Count Gradua with the Earth's moon on the Earth's moon without maternal guidance and low social interactions. Silvana had never learned to truly love, yet she, or he, learned to flirt without emotions. I can only take pity for this unlucky soul. Now back to the present, now back to the present story. Bubbles is swimming under the sea to uh, look up to locate the next crystal, and Magic Chan guides her. According to my psychic link, the crystal is about five miles from shore and about two or five thousand fathoms deep. Don't worry, I'll find it soon enough. Under the sea, under the sea. Down here it's better, down where it's wetter, take it from me, the singing corpfish. <laughs> uh, we 
you doing, Corfish? You woke me up from my nap, Squirtle. Meanwhile, Blake was coming out of the nearby pharmacy after making a wise purchase. Oh, yes. Bubbles, you will make up for earlier. <laughs> and these guys fist up in victory. And then Bubbles comes in from behind and grabs his fist. Actually, it's not really Bubbles. It's Savannah as Bubbles. And she say, Hmm. Oh, Bubbles, you surprise me. For you, Breaky Boo, I am full of surprises. Hmm. What happened with the crystal search? I suddenly feel more ready for you, so I came back to play. Oh, awesome. I just picked up some condos for our insurance policy. Oh, forget those. You're not raining on my parade, and I want you. And then suddenly he drops the box condoms. A big mistake. And then he's like, all right then, do our 969. <laughs> uh, here's a note. When Silvana does it with either a Sanchu or a Rose Shoe, she or he secretes a paralyzing sleep solution, rendering the unprotected victim asleep and defenseless. Just much like an STD in the, bit, no, in the, per, in the couple who do intercourse. For your, for your own safety, those of you who do it, wear a con use a condom. I, I give you all that advice. Okay, moving on with the story. So we follow the pair to. So we won't follow the duo to pair nine sixty nine. And he said, "Well, here we are." Okay, well let's do it right here, right now. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, more, more. Yeah, yeah. This goes on for a, like about three about three about three minutes max. Then. Blake is like, ah, oh, Bubbles, you got there before I did. Oh, wait a minute, I'm, star I'm still feeling buzzed, yet I'm feeling kind of... <laughs> Enjoy my sleep nectar, you sap. Blake's phone is ringing. And then Sylvana picks up and reads the text message from Bubbles. Blake, I had to travel a 10 mile round trip, but I found the crystal. Meet you in 15. Hugs and kisses. And as Sylvana closes the cell phone, she makes her next transformation. And yet, the real Blake notices that this has Sylvana's transformed. Bubbles? Hey, it's not bubbles, but bubbles. Is that me? No. Wait. Real bubbles. My bubbles. She's in trouble. Must. Stop that him poster. <sighs> hmm. I must hide the sleeper, says Silvana. And then she picks up Blake and picks up the real Blake as a Blake imposter. He is she thinks, Geez, you're heavy and then they teleport to the secluded area. Meanwhile, the real bubbles is handing Angel handing Angelica the crystal. Hey, Angelica, I found the Pino Crystal. Please take it to Pai Chan for me. Sure. I have to go meet up with my boyfriend. I'll talk to you later. Okay. So that Angelica flies off to the Quickville Shopping Center in the mayor's office. Oh, and meanwhile, Punchy and Wild are talking, just conversing. Hey, Wild. Isn't it? An hey, Wild. Isn't Angelica just the cutest? Eh, I guess so. You guess so? Come on! She is simply the sweetest, charming roast you in the world! I felt for her back in the day we all met, but I've been too shy to ask her out or even talk to her. I just don't know what to do or say. I'm befuddled, says Punchy. Then Wild replies, Well, I've heard that the Quickville University is offering a day education class. I'm going to sign up for it because I've been feeling lonely and I need to learn the what's and how's of approaching a day ago. Oh, perfect. I will sign up for it too. Then I'll be able to ask and joke out. Thank you, Wild, for informing me about that class. No problem, Punchy. <laughs> 